All right, so before I do the proof, let me um, just kind of show you how I would go about reasoning or trying to figure this out. Okay, so the idea here is the first thing I kind of notice is like, uh, so four to the K plus one, so I'm not doing any proof just yet, okay? So I'm just gonna put a line here. I'm just doing some scratch work here. to collect my thoughts and figure out how I'm gonna actually do this. All right, so the first thing to remember is that four to the K plus one, that's actually equal to four to the K times four or four times four to the K. This is because you add exponents when you have the same base, right? So you add those together, get K plus one there. Same thing here, right? Same base, add them together. One plus K is one plus K or K plus one, whichever you want to write it. Okay, so there's that whole thing there. Um, also this uh, three to the k plus one, that's equal to three times three to the k. So some good, good things to just kind of get in your mind. And now the idea is, remember, you want to use the assumption. The assumption is, gonna, is what's going to allow you to make the, the, uh, the this step. Um, to prove the inductive step. So the inductive hypothesis or the inductive assumption is what's gonna help you. So writing down the inductive assumption or the inductive hypothesis, let's see, that is four to the K is bigger than three to the K plus K. And then you say, okay, look at what's on my left-hand side here of what I wanna prove. That's four, that's four to the K plus one, which is, you see there's this four to the K in there, which is exactly that right there. Okay, I don't need all these notifications, go away. All right. Um, I must say the iPad is a little overactive on the notifications. Okay, thank you. All right, anyway, um, so let's see. So you see this here, right? You four to the K plus one, and then you have uh, four to the K over here, and then it, so we have this four to the K right there. Um, and then uh, this, is my, this is my inductive assumption here. Okay, so now think to yourself, okay, how can I manipulate my assumption, the thing that I get to assume is true to get what I want, which is gonna be this whole four times four to the K, right? Which is really four to the K plus one. Well, right? so you're right. You multiply, if you multiplied everything by four, that would do that, right? So if you multiply both the sides by four, that would do that. Okay, and then this, this, will, be, this will be my left-hand side here. Okay, and then um, okay. Now this side, right? If you multiply this, distribute this four through, you get uh, four times three to the k plus four k. And now remember, we want this to be bigger than. Um, three to the K plus one plus K plus one, the right hand side. And so you know you just have to ask yourself, okay, is four times three to the K, well, now let's see, four times three to the K itself, right? Um, let me give myself a little more room here. Four times three to the K is that bigger than three to the K plus one? It is, right? It's bigger than three times three to the K, which is three to the K plus one, right? And then four times K, is four times K bigger than K plus one? Well, sure it is, right? Because 
that's k plus k, right? That's four k's. The the um, the smallest that k can be, right? Um, because this, so this is. Think of this as k plus three k. Right. Remember, we're looking for a k plus one, right? This k plus one there. So we've got the k, which is that right there. And now we just want to know, is 3k going to be bigger than 1? Now remember k, right, we started the induction, um, I believe, at k equals 2. So at this very smallest, very least, k is 2, right? So 3k is 6. It's definitely bigger. At the very smallest, it's definitely 6. It's definitely bigger than 1. All right. All right, so we'll use all these ideas in the proof here. Okay, so let's see. Now what I would do is I would, I would I would have written all that out on a separate piece of paper and left it sitting there for me to look at, um, but I didn't have room for that, so I erased it, okay? So anyway, let's see. So left-hand side is 4 to the k plus 1, which is 4 times 4 to the k. This is bigger than 4 times 3 to the k plus k. This is my inductive hypothesis. This is p of k. Notice how I use p of k there, right? p of k tells me that um, this 4 to the k is bigger than that. That's exactly what I did. What exactly what I used right there. I just multiplied both. Let's see. Let me show you here. So this tells you that four times four to the k is bigger than four times like that. Exactly. Okay. Now distributing that through, we got 4 times 3 to the k plus 4k. Now this is going to be bigger than um, 3 to the k plus k plus 1. Let me justify that. I'll justify that in a second. This is equal to the right hand side. Okay, notice that we have we have equalities and we also have uh, less than, right? So this, this says that uh, the left-hand side is less than. It's, it's very much less than, right? We've had two less thans in there. So if you're less than, less than, then you're definitely less than. All right, so this is because, um, as we said, k is greater than or equal to 2. So because k is greater than or equal to 2, that means that 3k is greater than or equal to 6. And that's what allowed me to go say that k plus 3k is, uh, is bigger than k plus 1. So I had two less than, sorry, I had less than there and less than there. 